dancer Sachin Kandai is the perfect example of someone who has answered the call that excites his spirit and the proof can be seen every time he performs. He's also a highly successful choreographer and he inspires the dancers in his company to put everything into their art as well. It's a success story that goes back to his childhood and I met up with Sachin to fill in the details. The inaugural South Africa India Film and Television Awards ceremony featured Sachin performing on stage alongside Bollywood dance legend Madhuri Dixit and his career has swallowed an upward trajectory ever since. I met Sachin Kandai a few years ago and this performer's star seems to have exploded. After watching him in Kuch Kuch Happens in Durban, I had to catch up with him for a chat and perhaps a dance. 2015 saw him win the online Bolly Sheikh Bajira Mastani Dance Championship and the following year he took top honours in the Chalak Diklaja South Africa event. His cover of the track Leila scored over 11 million views on YouTube India, placing it among the top trending videos of the year. And in 2018, he represented Josie on Dance Divane in Mumbai. But none of this has taken the edge off his appetite for dance or his quest for performance perfection. I could watch you forever, <laughs> Sashin. It's so good to see you again. You have been so busy since the last time we chatted. Firstly, I don't live in Durban anymore. I'm here in Johannesburg. Welcome to Joburg. I moved to Johannesburg. I joined Oriental Fire. I got to do a whole bunch of different things with them. I've won three championships since I last spoke to you. I've been to India. I've performed with some mega stars. So it's been quite a journey. Sachin, can you give us an idea of the training, rehearsals, and sacrifices involved in being a professional performer? You give up a lot of your time just to be able to train to the level that you need to be to get onto stage and do the things that we do. Family is always calling me and complaining that they never see me, but it's the sacrifices we make. And I guess at the end of the day, they understand the time that we put in. The physical training is intense. We're in studio most of the time. New choreographies, fitness training, and then usually from a Friday to a Sunday is when we are busiest with performance. The money that you invest as well into making the costumes, you know, investing in different teachers to come in from an outside perspective and train your students and train yourself, there's a lot that goes into it. Sachin, what power does dance give you? Dance is an emotional journey. When you take to the stage and when you have your routine and when you're confident and the lights are shining, you feel like the most powerful person on earth. You feel like you can conquer anything. You feel like you can do anything. To have that power is magical. You've danced with the likes of Priyanka Chopra, Madhuri. Where do you even go from there? How do you evolve? It's now time for me to invest in the next generation of artists. It's time to pass on the knowledge that I've learned. It's time to make my own work, create my own shows, run my own competitions. And it's also time to take the work internationally. So my two students are on their way for rehearsal now. So uh, why don't you take a seat and watch what I've got in store for you. I'm so excited to be wowed. Okay guys, five, six, seven, eight. Sachin Khan's renowned choreographer Geeta Kapoor among the luminaries who have inspired and influenced him. And now he's passing it on to young dancers Jitesh Ranchot and Ali van der Valt with a piece that he has created especially for them. Nice. Woo! <laughs> you two are brilliant. Thank you. Jitesh, you just won the same competition that Sachin won last year. That's correct. Sachin messaged me four years back saying that I'm moving up to Joburg. Why don't you come join my dance classes? And I said yes. Ever since then, I've just been working and training and training and training for this big moment that I won the competition. Now the great prize is I get to go to India and perform on the actual set in front of Madhuri Dixit, Shashank and Tushar. It's just so amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Ali, what is it like working with Sachin? It's incredible and he really brings out the like confidence and performer quality in you. So it's really amazing. I'm going to let you two finish rehearsals and I'm going to finish chatting to Sachin. Thank you. <laughs> Sachin, what was the experience of Dance Divani like for you and what did you learn? So the entire journey of the competition from the South African leg right up until I went to perform in India has been one of the most amazing things that has ever happened to me in my life as a dancer. Being a young boy born and brought up in Unit 7 Chatsworth, you never really think that one day you would be in India, in Film City, performing live in front of the one and only Madhuri Dixit. And that journey has helped me realize that as young men, we do have a place in the Indian arts. What was the highlight for you, apart from winning, obviously? <laughs> the highlight of everything was when Madhuri Dixit called me an inspiration. I was just like, I felt baptized as a dancer. And then she woke up and she walked onto stage to perform with me and I was 
I was that. You are yourself a formidable teacher. Would you mind teaching me something today? How about I teach you something different? As opposed to the Bollywood dancing, how about I take you in the air? You better have a pilot's <laughs> license with this. I got you, girl. Okay, so welcome to Aerial 101. So today I'm gonna teach you something that uh, is pretty, but it's also gonna test your strength a little bit. Split your silks firstly. Take your hand from the outside, come around and grab. Again, from the inside to grab. You wanna reach up as high as possible. And then what you're going to do is, you're going to give yourself a little bit of a spin, and you're going to hang in your arms. So eventually, you end up doing that. And then drop your head back for dramatic effect. And you're back. Okay, so where okay. do I start? How do I go? All right, so split your silks. Out. There you go, out. Around and grab, nice. Try and grab as high as possible. And you're gonna give yourself a little toss. Okay. And you're going to hang. Nice. Ooh, oh yeah. And head back for dramatic effect, Ooh. yes. <laughs> nice. Oh my goodness. I'm a little bit dizzy now. <laughs> Fashion, finally, what advice do you have for aspiring performers out there? Just be fearless. Just have the courage to do what you want to do. Don't let anybody tell you no. Don't let anybody stop you. If you've got passion about something, if you have a dream, life is short. Go out there and grab it with both hands. Know what you want, have the drive, and just push yourself. There's so much opportunity out there. There's so much beauty in the world. You just have to be brave enough to want to grab it. Now you have to show me some more cool stuff. Oh, let me show you my favorite drop. Look at that brute strength. That was scary. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. It is performers like Sashin that inspire us to not only reach across continents, but also for the stars. Sashin was just four years old when he presented a show-stopping performance at a school fair, inspired by his Bollywood idol, the late Shami Kapoor. That's when he first heard the call that excited his spirit. And just over two decades later, he's pursuing his passion and exciting his audience.